Germany in Europe, South Korea in Asia. Both countries have a history of division, with Germany splitting into West and East after World War II and Korea dividing into North and South. However, while Germany successfully reunified, Korea remains divided. So, why did Germany succeed in reunification while Korea failed it? Here are three reasons. First, South and North Korea had a massive war, the Korean War, which Germany did not experience despite its division. Between West and East Germany, there were no military clashes like missile launches. In contrast, South and North Korea fiercely fought from 1950 to 1953, resulting in significant casualties on both sides, leaving deep scars in the hearts of the people. Furthermore, ongoing military conflicts such as North Korea's submarine attack on the South Korean ship Cheonan and artillery shelling on Yeonpyeong Island in 2010 continue to diminish the possibility of reunification. The second reason is that West and East Germany had various human exchanges in the past while there is no exchange between South and North Korea. You'd exchange and even traveling between the two Germans help maintain mutual understanding. However, South and North Koreans have almost no interaction today. Family reunions were last held in 2018 and travel between the two countries is strictly prohibited. The lack of communications has led South Korean youth to develop increasingly negative views of North Korea. For example, South Korean youth who view North Korea as an enemy rose significantly from 24% in 2020 to 38% in 2022. And the third reason is China's unchanging attitude. While the Soviet Union, which supported East Germany in the 1980s, underwent significant changes, China, which currently supports North Korea, remains opposed to the reunification of North and South Korea. China continues to use North Korea as a buffer zone, and any shift toward democracy and reunification could lead to an increased presence of US forces near its borders. Therefore, China actively discouraged Korean reunification. In summary, South Korean's failure to achieve reunification can be attributed to the devastating Korean War, the lack of current human exchange, and China's continued opposition to reunification. What do you think are the reasons behind South Korea's inability to achieve reunification? Please share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to follow and hit the like button. Thank you.